Hi everyone, welcome to IoT Projects Ideas. Today we are going to build the RF ID based solenoid door lock system using an Arduino board. The system uses an RF ID RC5 double two reader module to read RF ID cards and a solenoid door lock to lock or unlock the door. The program allows for multiple RFID cards to be added or removed from the system. And a master card is used to perform administrative tasks such as adding or removing cards. This feature provides flexibility and convenience as users can add or remove cards as needed without having to reprogram the entire system. The project includes an EEP ROM module that can store up to 20 cards data, allowing users to customize assets to their homes or businesses. So, this EEP ROM based Arduino RFID door lock is a versatile project that offers a wide range of useful features for home security systems. The project also features a built in LCD screen that displays important information, such as access granted or denied notifications. The status of the system, new added card or remove card, and master card detection on LCD. The LCD screen makes the system easy to use and understand, as users can quickly see if access has been granted or denied, and identify any issues that need to be addressed. Other notable features of this project include a buzzer that provides audible feedback when access is granted or denied, and LED lights that indicate the system's status. The project is also equipped with a button that can be used to override the system and open the door manually if needed. We can use a jumper and place this button on the back panel of the door so that when you are inside the room, you can easily press this button and unlock the door without RFID cards. This RFID-based solenoid door lock UG Arduino is a practical and user-friendly project that offers a wide range of useful features for home security systems. So, without further delay, let's get started. To build and test this project, you will need the following components. Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno. RFID EMF RC522 Riddle Module. 16 x 2 I2C LCD Display. 5 volt Single Channel Relay Module. A push button, 5 volt buzzer, LED lights, red and green, 12 volt solenoid lock, 12 volt power supply, and jumper wires. Here is the circuit connection diagram. First, connect the RFID MF RC522 reader module to the Arduino board as follows. SDA pin of the reader to pin detail of the Arduino. SCK pin of the reader to pin D13 of the Arduino. MOSI pin of the reader to pin D11 of the Arduino. YAMAYASO pin of the reader to pin D12 of the Arduino. GND pin of the reader to GND pin of the Arduino. RST pin of the reader to pin D9 of the Arduino. 3.3 volt pin of the reader to 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino. Now, connect the 16 cross to I2C LCD display to the Arduino board as follows. Connect the STA pin of the screen to A4 pin of the Arduino. 
connect the SCL pin of the screen to A5 pin of the Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of the screen to 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Connect the GND pin of the screen to GND pin of the Arduino. Now, connect the LED lights, buzzer and push button to the Arduino board as follows. Connect the red LED to pin D4 of the Arduino. Connect the green LED to pin D5 of the Arduino. Connect the buzzer to pin D6 of the Arduino. Connect the push button to pin D2 of the Arduino. Finally, connect the relay module to the Arduino board as follows. Connect the relay VCC pin to 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Connect the relay GND pin to GND pin of the Arduino. Connect the relay IN pin to D3 pin of the Arduino. To interface the 12 volt solenoid door lock with the relay module, connect the 12 volt power supply positive pin to the positive pin of the solenoid lock. Then, connect the negative terminal of the power supply to the common pin on the relay module. Now, connect solenoid log negative terminal to normally open pin of relay module. This is the final assembly of this project on a zero PCV board. To make the project more compact and professional looking, I have designed a custom PCV for this project. You can directly order a custom PCV board from PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a PCB prototype, an assembly manufacturer that offers high quality boards at affordable prices. Simply upload your Garver files and choose your preferences like layers, board thickness, solder marks, etc. Then select your preferred shipping method and place your order. Overall, ordering a custom PCB from PCB way is a simple and efficient way to get exactly what you need for this project. Arduino program code. Now let's take a look at the Arduino program code. Here we are using the MF RC522 library to communicate with the RFID reader. We are also using the EEP ROM library to store the card data in the EEP ROM memory of the Arduino Nano board. You can find the complete code in the description below. Before uploading the code to the Arduino Nano board, we need to install the required libraries. You can find the links to these libraries in the description below. After installing the libraries, we need to set up our master RFID card. So let's quickly upload the program to the Arduino Nano board by selecting the correct board and COM port. Once the upload is complete, open the serial monitor, then scan one of your RFID cards or keychain to the reader. You will Find the card ID, just copy that UID and paste it to the code here. Now, this RFID card will be your master card. It helps you to add or remove the RFID cards at any time without reprogramming the Arduino board. Now, again upload this program, go to your Arduino board. If you need a brief explanation of this program code, then visit our website link provided in the description. Once the upload is complete, the RFID door lock is ready to be tested. When a valid card is swiped, the green LED indicator will turn on, the buzzer will beep, and the solenoid lock will unlock the door. You can 
also see the access granted door unlocked message on the LCD screen. On the other hand, when an invalid card is detected, an access denied invalid card message is displayed and the red LED indicator will turn on. And the buzzer will beep to indicate that the card is not authorized. You can swipe the master card and swipe a new card to add that card to the system. The new card UID will be saved on EEP ROM so that authorized cards won't get deleted after power failure or system reboot. Similarly, to remove the registered card from the system, you need to swipe master card and swipe the card you want to remove from the system. That's it. Now the card is removed from EEP ROM and you won't be able to open the door lock with this card. This small push button will help you to bypass the system and get access to the door lock when needed. As said earlier, you can add a jumper and place this button to the back side of your door so that you can easily open the lock when you are inside the room. You can modify the program code to suit your specific needs. So that's all for this video part. You can find the written guide, components purchase links, circuit diagram, PCV Garver file and program code explanation on our website. I hope this helps you a lot. If you have any queries related to this project, then let me know in the comment section below. Till then, stay happy, stay cool. Bye bye. See you soon.